Religious consecration for me as a woman um, dedicated to God is a great gift that I received from God, something that I didn't really deserve. But I love my, my life as a woman consecrated to, to God for the service of His people. Each day I renew my consecration at Holy Mass and early in the morning when I pray the Angelus. I renew my vow of consecrated celibacy, poverty, and obedience. And I know that my life is fruitful because of the prayer and the unity that I experience through the support of my sisters. There are a variety of people that have brought me to the awareness of the importance of God in my life. My parents, the sisters who taught me in school, and in the small parish that I attended growing up, the number of people that I would see attending Mass, this all attributed to my awareness that God is calling me or asking something of me. It is pondering that and praying over it that brought me to enter the Sisters of Mary, the presentation where through the vows, God has consecrated me totally to himself. It's over many years that this has deepened for me and brought new awarenesses and showed me so many blessings that are just incomprehensible. My ministries have been varied because of this consecration, so varied that I'm surprised even to this day that God found these many gifts within me to share with so many people. Every person wants to live a meaningful and purposeful life. For me, religious life is what I have been called to. Living the consecrated life has been very satisfying to me and I am thankful and feel blessed every day of my life in my vocation as a Sister of Mary of the Presentation. Religious life has been a real blessing for me and I am very thankful to God for having called me to this way of life. And living in community with other women has provided me opportunities to grow closer to God and to others. I feel very privileged to have been able to grow and develop my talents and my gifts as I've served others in um, the various ministries as a Sister of Mary of the Presentation. I too have been blessed by this vocation that God has called me to. It's a call that I live out each day um, through loving others in my work as a daycare worker and in community. I am touched very much by the fact that it is a very inclusive love and an exclusive love. We love God with our whole heart and soul and through that love we love others. I have always found the value of community and growing spiritually. This year in particular, since I am more at Maryvale, I find that I can be the presence of Jesus with my sisters by being more kind, gentle, and being helpful around with them and others in the house. It has proven to be more intent for me and has shown me another means of growing spiritually. By growing together, we hope to be an example of the gentleness of Jesus as he lives among us. I find that my love comes through because of the development of my relationship with our Lord. I do this by recognizing the dignity of every human person. This may be shown with a smile, a word, or a touch. I believe that consecrated celibacy is the heart of religious life. It's the heartbeat of our religious life. In consecrated celibacy, we receive a call from God, and we freely respond to that call. And in uh, consecrated celibacy, we are living now, 
our consecrated celibacy, but it will go on and extend into uh, eternity. Well, marriage life does not extend into eternity. I like to refer back to the gospel message about the woman with the seven husbands. Her husbands all died. She had seven husbands. They all died. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus, well, which one will be her husband in eternity or in heaven? And the response that Jesus gave was that none, because they do not marry nor be given into marriage in heaven. So it's religious life, religious consecration does extend into eternity. So it's an eternal, it's a perpetual eternal commitment. As a consecrated religious sister of Mary the Presentation, I've been greatly blessed. And what I find is that when I give my life totally to the Lord and let go of the opportunity to marry, that God gives me back God's love, overflowing, fills my heart. And I see the love of God shining through our sisters, the aged and the sick, as well as the young in their ways of patiently and lovingly accepting suffering or joyfully being of service and ministry. Our life of prayer is also a core of who we are. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I've always felt it a privilege to be a Sister of Mary of the Presentation. I first had connections with the sisters at summer vacation school when they taught us catechism, summer school religion. And I really was impressed by the sisters at that time. And then later on I went to high school at Willow City, Notre Dame Academy in Willow City, North Dakota. And it was during that time that I answered the call to join the Sisters of Mary of the Presentation. So I was young. But I, I always was grateful for that gift. Even at that age, I, I was ready to leave home. I was ready to go and become a sister. And it was really important for me to, to be a part of that community. So I went through those years of preparation, ma made my vows, and then I went off to teach. I taught for many years. I enjoyed my teaching years. I felt God blessed me with his special love and that I could share with the students. And so I really did enjoy those years. And then after that, I went into administration in my religious community and also did some parish ministry along the way. So I've enjoyed different types of, of ministries. And always I have felt God has been close to me and has blessed me and has really been wonderful, a wonderful companion in life. And so I, I've delighted in my vocation. I'm very grateful. And I can always say thank you to God for calling me to be a sister of Mary of the Presentation. <laughs>